Hey guys, welcome to The Shack. This is episode 34. It is actually part three of the last two episodes. Of the never-ending series. No, it's not never-ending. We might get through the end of it today. We're going to do tools, equipment, flashlights, stuff like that. So the um, bug out bag, your go bag, your 72 hour bag, whatever you guys are calling your personal get home bag, uh, I think is what we're gonna go over. So today we're gonna cover the next part. I think we left off at Cordage. We covered shelter, rain gear, Cordage on the last episode. So now we're gonna go on and tell you all what else is left in our bags. But first, where can they find our podcast, Mikey? Ooh, ooh, I know this one. That would be everywhere you can find podcasts. That's right. And uh, also, if you'd like to support the podcast, we have an Amazon link in uh, some Michael Tire Wars. There you website. go. Michael. <laughs> it's on the Shack page on our website, which is in the About section. Because we had a discussion on why it's not on the front page. Okay. He's real quiet no, today. Saying. Why? <laughs> well, just security. I like Spam. to find things fast. I don't even like to click. I just want them to be uh, there. He wants all the information on the front page, the but easily right. accessible. All <laughs> but I know it can't be there. <laughs> all pop up. That's so. not going to happen. We're not done discussing it yet. Okay. But for right now, Mike, <laughs> where can they find <laughs> the Amazon link? The Amazon affiliate link is on the Shack page, which is under the About tab on the navigation. There you go. So that, see, it was complicated for him to even say where to find it. But if you guys want to help and support the podcast, because we do shut the shop down, and Sam's dusty to prove it, we, we shut the shop down, we do the shack, we all sit around Just the kitchen table and uh, run right through it. So please uh, support by listening, thumbs upping us on Apple iTunes. or We all just held up our okay. thumbs. Yeah, all right. So we do that. Uh, don't forget to check out ltwrightknives.com. We got some of the really cool knives in the world out there. We're, we're real proud of our products, so you can check them out there. And also look at woodsmonkey.com. We have some products over there, and Brian is doing a great job of getting that side of the company up and running, and it's fun nice to go over there and job, hang out with Brian. Brian. Thank you. Yeah. So we got some new stuff coming out. Actually, I think we probably need to do an upcoming episode after the other five that we have already written down. All monkey all the time. Uh, yeah, something. Wow. So that anyway, before like needs their own podcast. Ooh, yes. uh, before we get started, here we go. Let's see who's all here today. I'm LT. Scooter here, man, on the inside. I'm Tyler. Brian from Woods Monkey. Mikey. Nick. And Sam. And we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, we left off at Cordy's last time, guys. So um, let me just start. Next thing in my bag, okay? Batteries for headlamps and for my flashlight. So not counting, because we still have to do another recent po or another new pocket dump. So I do carry a flashlight 99% of the time on person. Just have it. You know, you get into that yeah. habit. And I had a buddy of mine one time who said, why are you carrying a flashlight? You're afraid the sun's going out. And then laughed his butt off. I don't know. But anyway, I do carry a flashlight all the time on person. And I probably have three to five of them in my Jeep. Did you laugh at him when it got dark? Yeah. I was <laughs> like, yeah. How are you liking now? When we walked into the cave and it went, dang it, dark oh, in here. Oh, too bad. Uh, and then I have flashlights in my bag. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I have far too many. But I, I personally have a, a headlamp. Uh, I don't have actually. I don't have a flashlight. I have a headlamp in my go bag. Where's so your surefire. Now my bag. It's on my on my. Purse. No, no. He means oh. in his bag. Oh, yeah, okay. in in my bag. In I do bag. have oh, a headlamp, okay. just in case. I didn't have my flashlight for whatever reason, you know. Okay. And Sometimes I carry. You need both hands. And I carry batteries to fill the flashlight on my person and to. Hit that headlamp once or two times. I can't remember what I have battery wise. I don't, I don't have the count, but I have, I made sure I was like, hey, I got enough to cover. Good situation. So let's start with uh, batteries, headlights, or headlights, batteries, <laughs> headlamps, or lights. What, what are you guys carrying? That is what I carry right there. Ready to go. Okay. I too carry a flashlight constantly in my pocket. And this one. I think I've carried the longest because mainly I haven't lost it yet. And That's two, a reason to still carry it's it. a great little light. 
It's a true. It's it's. So I'm trying to find it's it. The that's a mileage team. on it. It's an Olight. The um, or no, a three T. Three T EOS. Mm. And it runs off a AAA battery. You can get anywhere, of course. Yep. It has a high beam and a low beam and an off. <laughs> and one AAA. One AAA. And nice. I think they're IPX eight rated too. I've gone swimming with mine. Oh yeah, I've had it in On the rain. On purpose. Yep. Yeah, no problem. One triple A and a high and a low beam. That's kind of cool. I don't Most of the time, also, low beam is good enough. Right. High beam, of course, really sucks down the battery, and it gets a little warm in your hand, so you know it's on high. Yeah. But this is an everyday. I took the little clip off of it, you know, to keep it in your mic, because I just have it rolling around in my pocket. Yeah. But I've had it now so long, I can reach in my pocket amongst the other junk in my pocket, and I know that I have this in my hand. And here's the rubber switch. It's ready to go. Uh, also on me all the time is the light on the phone, which I use that sometimes. Not as much as this little flashlight. Oh, I always forget that I have that, honestly. That works sometimes also. Okay, I have that too. <laughs> in, the, in the bug out bag is a Surefire 6P. And... Since I can't always get those batteries at the drugstore. The, the 123s? Yeah. This little, I don't know, let's see. This is called Storacell, and it's a little plastic case yep. that holds four 123 batteries. I have two of those in my pack. This runs on two of these, so there's a fair bit of oh, yeah. lighting here. Good coverage. Now, I think, on, I think this one... I Did can't you remember get the now. Lamp upgrade for that? I was just trying to think. I have this, and I have a Z2 combat light from Surefire. For those One who them, don't know, Malkoff is that that's the right it. name? Yeah, I could think of it. Mal- Mal- that's what you told me. Yeah, yeah. Malkoff, Malkoff makes an upgraded bulb. Yeah, I have really one. Really is One awesome. I have it. Well, I have Let it on this. Let me. Let me I'll get that. That's on the floor <laughs> now. That's okay. They're they're uh, drop rated yeah. too. Yeah, Malkoff. M-A-L-K-O-F-F devices. I have one right here on my Executive Elite E2E. It's fantastic. Changes the brightness okay. from okay to oh my. This is <laughs> the stock like Surefire P60. All right, I must I have th- that one. Yeah, I was thinking one. you got one. I, yeah. I did buy one. Yeah, that is a for sure hot rod upgrade. Yeah, yeah, good to go. Okay, that's lights, batteries. I also, I, I don't think I have it in this bag. It must be in the other bag. These store a cell battery holders i do have one for double a AA and triple a i also keep in here i like those it's handy so the batteries don't touch each other yeah and don't discharge don't have any problems with them and you push it up from the bottom oh yeah no i like pops right up. i have a couple of those but i have the, i also have the black ones that clip together they have the yeah. lid uh, i don't know the name thermal, right thermal, I think. Thermal, no. yeah. Thermal, yeah something, something like that basically well, the yeah. same thing yeah keep but them separated yeah. keep them separated keep them organized so you literally yeah. can grab that thing you got four batteries i like yeah that. yeah and not that you more. couldn't tell the difference but the other ones are orange these are all yeah. drab yeah. Green, so. good deal that's my lighting and, and other than a lighter but so not a headlamp headlamps are in the truck okay well, the nice thing about that O light that he has too is it has the reversible clip. So if you're wearing any kind of baseball cap, it becomes a headlamp. Uh, basically, oh, is that what it? Because I took it off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I threw that away. I wonder what you're doing with it. So like, good see. luck with that. I also really like the O light charging oh, yeah, yeah, base, yeah. where you don't have to take the batteries out. You can just stick it on your nightstand and charge it without having yeah. to take your. I, I I see more and more companies moving in that direction, yeah. and I like the magnetic charging as well. But and man, it's still the thumb button too, right? Yeah, yeah, but it is well, not all of them. Right, on some of them. Some of them have just the charging base. I think you have just a charging base. This one's just a charging base. I think those other Surefires or O lights that you and I got. Yeah, we got um, those were Warrior Pros. I think they have the the charging. I have that's in the center console of the Land Rover. That's a nice light. Oh yeah, the Mini is. I like the Mini better to be honest, just because that one's so big. Oh, it's but. It's a hammer. It's it's a nice light yeah, still. I like them both. It's got the, I'll break your face, no. bezel in the front, too. Uh, I didn't throw out the lights. brand name of my headlamp, but it is Olight. <laughs> oh. So it's an Olight, and it takes a uh, single triple what? 
like yours. Mine are both from yeah. charge. I get two in the truck. One's in Milwaukee from Home Depot. Okay. It it charges in a USB. Yeah. That works fantastic. Bunch of modes. Good deal. The other one is an Olight with a magnetic charging cord. Yeah, port. this Olight, me and Mikey got them at the Blade Show umpteen years ago. Yeah. So. Hi, yeah. Tyler. You up? Well, it like sounds it. like I need to get a better headlamp because I have a headlamp of mine, but it takes watch batteries. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. No, everybody no, no. has had a bad experience. Hutch falls over that. the crowd. I have yeah. one of those old Petzels. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they were great lights, but man, the first no. time you get one of those batteries corroded in there, forget it. Mm. Oh, yeah. Time to upgrade. Yeah, so it seems like it's time for me to upgrade to a... Uh, Something with a triple A or double A. Because watch batteries aren't easy to find either. And they don't carry a whole lot in their packs. So, But, uh, yeah, that's the lightage I carry. It's I only have the one. For now, anyways. When I upgrade, I'll probably have to get more. Yeah, you better take some notes. And yeah. upgrade a few things. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, or listen to the show later. Or, yeah, listen to the show later. <laughs> we are taking notes. Since it's all recorded for posterity. Okay. Brian? <laughs> well, so I, I've got an old, I was just looking it up because I couldn't remember the name of it, but it's an old... Uh, Monkey Light? Monkey Light. It uh, shoots out a yellow beam. Um, <laughs> like, like, like a candle? Like, <laughs> no, like, uh, yeah, it's a, oh, it's, it's a candle. Brian. It's a candle! <laughs> what you do is you take a banana and you put a wick in the banana. Nice. Um, do you dip the whole thing in kerosene? Exactly. That sounds like a really good idea. And then throw it. Nice. Um, no, it was, it's nice. an old Surefire, the one, and it's, I think it's the Outdoorsman. It has the old crenellated bezel for... Oh, um, smashing faces. Opening bananas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For opening bananas, for uh, social... Uh, interactions, um, <laughs> and then I'm it's not real weird, <laughs> doesn't it? And then because you know I I, I want to be able to carry one set of batteries because that that takes two one two threes, and then I've got an old O light that's an old old actually I think I traded you for five things for it Nick but um, but that takes one one two three so that way I only have one set of batteries and I I do have the same. The store sells, although I do the, the glow in the dark so I can find them. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, and I've got other ones for one, uh, one or uh, triple A is like my my mm-hmm. headlamp is a Petzl and it has the uh, Petzl makes a um, rechargeable insert that you can put in there instead of batteries. But as a backup, then mm-hmm. I've got um, some triple A's on a on a monkey board in the store cell that I can actually attach to the headband. So I've always got extra batteries like mm-hmm. attached to to the headlamp, but. Um, daily stuff is is the the two one two threes and I do have that little little keychain Olay too just the rechargeable mm-hmm. one that came you know again from it was a blade show mm-hmm. or something like that it was like a little the little keychain I, one just as like a, thing or, yeah exactly I had one of those exactly it unscrewed and fell apart on me yeah ah, yeah the new okay. ones don't the I new ones pull say, apart the oh. new ones the cap stays attached yep. oh look at that. They must have got my email. They got a lot of email, <laughs> I think. Kidding. But mine is mine is still the old style, and you know, knock on wood, I've still kept the other piece of it. But yeah, the the new mm-hmm. ones that they, they they and they actually give them out for free periodically. If you're a an Olight member, you pay just for the shipping, so that's a good deal. Um, the new ones stay together, which is which is really nice, and they're a little brighter, last a little longer. But that's mm-hmm. that's the other everyday stuff. I do have an old old photon light from. Maybe oh. twenty years ago that I've had on my keychain since I bought it, and is you know, it a squeeze light from Blind Horse Knives? Those no, things. but it's the same. It's the same, uh, same style, same format. I've had one of those, and I can't kill it. <laughs> it won't die. I know this. This has been on my keys for, I mean, and it still lights up. The the it's the it was like the Photon Two with the the set switch. Switch still works. I mean, it's it's at least twenty years old bangs around against my keys all day every day and it like you said will not die battery lasts forever it must be unlucky i guess i mean i've tried to break the one <laughs> mine doesn't work i think i skipped it down the road one time <laughs> you son of a gun why can't you just die all right we're up to mikey I carry two flashlights on my persons at all times and in my bag I have the strap to turn my one flashlight into my headlamp and uh, I call. also have an Olight lantern in my bag. The Which? Bulb or, <laughs> what? The bulb or an actual one of their actual lanterns? One of their actual lanterns. Nice. I hate to scroll here but 
I just found out that thing you can do with the wasu hat we have. Yeah. Oh. To turn your into a flashlight. The patch. Thing, the yeah. patch. Yeah. What? Yeah. Mike, tell him. He uh, just told so me. Where the patch is, you just yeah. lift a little section of it up and you slide your flashlight in there and headlamp. Well and then they made yeah. they made the the They made the out. little eye Yeah, that's a Velcro little Velcro thing. patch that's got two loops on it and you but can you, it's silicon. wrap it around your head light and stick and it right your on your head. Put headlamp onto your head. Or anywhere you put a Velcro patch. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I know. I just Send found us out. Send a link, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I just found that out. I was like, okay. are you kidding me? I have the hat. So there. Nick, anyway. Nick, Nick is correct. That little reversible clip thing does work good on your on the bill of your ball cap. And I have used one of those. Mm -hmm. And it's nice on this because it's very lightweight. I've also tried it with this big <laughs> bonker and it... It makes your neck sore. First when it falls off. <laughs> Actually, the little stream lights that we have, they, mine's reversible. That's the one. That one right there? Yeah, that one. I know you guys can't see that, but Nick just held it up. I keep uh, one in my So that takes care of you, too. Mikey? Is that it? Yeah, that's basically it. My wife has like 912 flashlights, and they're nice. scattered throughout the house through every bag <laughs> she owns. So if you ever need a backup light, just ask her. She even has a special light that she uses just for reading books in the house. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sorry, you're going to go have to go have a light for finding our light. What's wrong with that? Books no. and anything associated with them is perfectly wonderful. So, what do you like when the fire detectors go off, or when you're supposed to change batteries just to go find all her lights and change well, no, them? No, see, I, it's to the point where I have to have a quiver of batteries with me at all times. <laughs> a quiver? Because. Bandolier? Of you never I know what she's yes. going to say. Yeah. This particular flashlight is out, and fortunately for me, most of them are CR one twenty threes or eighteen six fifties. But geez. I have a you lot must of. Must have got a loan yeah. to have that quiver of batteries. <laughs> <laughs> batteries. It's like forty bucks for. Yeah. I mean, ten and I've got now. about nine of both sizes. So. Yeah, yes. <laughs> maybe think rechargeable. All right. Maybe no, they are rechargeable. Maybe throw oh. all them flashlights away. <laughs> <laughs> Get a one big flashlight. Yeah. All right, Nick, you're up. So I too, on my green ring, the the stuff that I have in my pockets and on my belt have uh, three lights. So one on my keys. It's the uh, the Olight IXV. It's the latest little keychain one, I think. Still uh, doesn't have the come apart cap that stays together. Uh, and then one of their ninety degree flashlights. I forget which one, and it's all like the aluminum casing is starting to wear away on the parent aside no it's the boy if that says right that's the h2r oh that's the old one yeah still going strong though uh and then my phone also i will count that even though i really don't like using that at all that's because they're listening well <laughs> sure and they know when you turn the light on they know when you're in the dark yeah. Yeah. well there it is sees that. you while you're sleeping uh, then along the <laughs> lighting and battery line of uh, equipment, I have a, another, I think it's an Olight i5T. It's the AA version of what Scott has there. Uh, and rechargeable, I have USB rechargeable AA batteries. And what else? Uh, 20,000 milliamp power pack. Hmm. I think that's it as far as power and lighting go with my daily driver kit like that. So, yeah. Good deal. Sounds like you got a lot of light. Sammy. I carry in my pocket every day an Olight S2R baton. The Did you mags. say Olight was sponsoring this podcast, Mike? <laughs> Jeez. Today's episode is brought to you by the fine folks. They're Olight. great lights. I, know I put are. this one through the ringer. I found it stuck to underneath the hood of my truck a couple times because I forgot it was there. <laughs> it still works. People get me wow. to try something else. I'm like, but why? Yeah. It's no, not I that like I'm it. not a po I'm like opposed to it. I like other flashlights too, but mm -hmm. they just beat them I'll up. Get They're a not new one too when expensive. mine dies and it hasn't. Yeah. In cool. in cool. my bag, I carry the O light. That's the headlamp thing. Michael. Perrin. The Perrin. That one, yeah. <laughs> And I also have a Ozark Trail that takes AAA batteries because I'm not great at keeping the Olights charged. Mm. So gotta have if a you backup. had a quiver of batteries, you could just go to that. <laughs> well, I'm fine when I go camping with you, but any other time, my batteries Your are probably dead. battery quiver. Got you. Well, that kind of covers the lights and, and spare batteries. I think we all kind of 
carry the spares with us, at least enough for one or two more cycles, right? And apparently we can all swap O-light batteries if push comes to shove. On the mm-hmm. night. We've, we've got the, the lights thing covers. And in addition to that, like in the lighting charging area, I actually carry uh, a phone-sized jump pack. Charging well, block. Charging block. Oh, that's, yeah. Yeah, so I do have <laughs> Same that. Same as me. Um, with a cord sitting mm-hmm. in, because in, uh, I'm using the Mlendi. And it sits in the front, you know, that front front pocket, you know, that goes up and down on the front of it. So I like it in there. Uh, do you care, carry anything? And oh, I also carry one, maybe two chem lights for quick, oh, mm-hmm. just quick. I got to bust something, some get some light, some light on the ground too. or something like that. So I, I have, but I every time I buy one, I put it in a pack and then I don't use it or it gets bumped or it snaps or something yeah. and then they're, they're junk. Okay. <laughs> Freebie tip from so. the EDC psycho. That's me. Uh, <laughs> in the fishing department at Walmart, okay, for less than five dollars, you can get miniature chem lights <clears throat> that will go in. They're made to go on either a fishing rod or on a bobber. Right. You can throw two or three of those in your pocket in a little pouch. Is what I found is best so that I don't lose them. And a whole bunch in your bag, and you will never notice until you need them. And that is just enough light to get you out of trouble sometimes. Exactly. Mm, and the reason I have the chem lights, they were gifted to me. Mm. Or I probably would do exactly what you're saying, get those minis. Because I, if you've mm. ever seen those, he's How the many well, they're, they're is this that six inches Tom's long. In this yeah, you got, this is now looking yep. at EDC Wait, bag one. number six. Hold on. With the lighting. Just to make it through my bits and all bobs here. stuff with him. That's why his calves are so big. <laughs> yeah. What's in your bag, Mary Poppins? When we <laughs> Actually, you know what? I don't think I have one of those. No. Oh, 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 good thing. Hey, if the sun went out today, card. we'd be in trouble. Hold Take on. I'm not card. giving up just yet. There's more compartments here in my pouch. <laughs> Actually, that this pouch unfolds look into look a three man tent and a raft. <laughs> <laughs> tell you a story about that one time. Uh-oh. Nope. I That's don't. Wow. Sad day. For shame for Nick. Oh, but but I still agree with him. That's a good idea to get that chem light. They so do you guys should good. look into that. Yeah, good okay. one. Does anyone uh, carry us an additional charge for the tr- phone besides me? Oh, yeah. yeah. I see you a got, power block. You, hit, you have a power block, too? Oh, my cable. lantern is also a battery pack. Nick's using his right now. Actually, well, I'm using the cable. Yeah. What did yeah. you say? Your my lantern is phone. a battery pack, and uh, in the truck I have the solar flashlight that you gave us a while yeah. ago that was also a mm, photo. You're right. I, dang it. My Some of these things I got uh, forget. Those are like nice I have a lantern, the solar lantern. I got one too. Yeah. And it does charge the phone. Well, that's that's a, expensive. That's a, well I don't carry it in my bag like though. I guess zero? I'm going over back. Uh, no it was hyper light I think. Uh, hyper, oh. I think he's right. All right. All right. Yeah. I have a goal zero lantern thing that, that, that'll yeah. charge your phone. So, and, and a power block, which is so, also a flashlight. Yeah. So that kind of yeah. In kinda the truck, that. almost all of us have the Schumacher jump pack, which yes. will 110, 12 volt, and USB. Which is one of my favorite jump packs. I got to admit, yeah, yeah. it it's is been, a good one. Been and it's got a light on it. <laughs> and an air pump. And an air pump. The yeah. air pump part. It'll run oh, the fridge. That's us. Uh, yes. If you do it, if you set your fridge marginal, up right. But it yeah. is an air pump. It is an <laughs> air pump. Air pump it's better than trying to blow it up <laughs> We've done the track tires with yeah. it. We have used it on yes. track tires. And that will keep the fridge. Yes, it runs it, a fridge It runs all a weekend. fridge. Really? Uh, at the pouting, I think I ran it. I never turned it off, matter of fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was still good to go. And it charges phones. And Yeah, so that's good. <laughs> That's not in the bag, but anyway. but it could be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's uh, go heavy. Let's cover knives. <laughs> they need to make so, it easy. Uh, okay. let, let's get started on knives. I'll tell you what I got on the left strap of my um Lindy in those uh, bungees. I have a fixed blade out of ten seventy five. It's one of our Bush Baby t- smaller knives. Uh, it was a modded one, and I kind of was really digging on it. So I used to carry it in the Jeep, and then I re relegated it to this particular position. Now, in lieu of that, I most likely have a knife on me too. I definitely have a folder. Probably if I'm going to the farm, if I'm going anywhere traveling, I care I do carry another fixed blade. But this one is attached to the uh, pack. So I have that as my fixed blade. Inside as the folder in the pack, I carry uh, the Ar- uh, one hand trekker. Swiss Army knife, if you guys are familiar with that. 
I love, and one of the biggest reasons, it's got an amazing saw. This mm. saw, I mean, you can cut some saplings down with this darn thing. It, it is good. Yeah. So it gives me, again, gives me that spare blade. Plus, on the side of it, uh, torn between an ax and a camp knife. So I decided for now, I carry my comp chopper, which is a 10 inch mm. by two inch by three eighths stocked blade. Uh, that's I believe it's M4, and it is uh, not got, light. No, not it's <laughs> not light. It's, it's not light, but man, you if can only do you had your hands it. on that new knife that's coming out. Mm. Right. No, the regular. <laughs> but I'm just saying for now, I, because I I might go to a small. You know the what is the 12 inch uh, axe that we like? The, the small forest the axe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the huntsman. The small yeah, forest. You know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have uh, that and the next Grants one up. Grants Brooks. Yeah, yeah. Grand the Grand Council. Brooks. Oh, no, no, no. I have the Grand. For- this is the one I'm talking about. Uh, that's that's my hat. Oh, the little little thing. The yeah, little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that but, the hatchet one or is the yeah the hatchet forest? one? Yeah. However, however, I'm pretty sold on my chopper right now. So I, I, let me run down again. I got a 1075 fixed blade. Now again, on person, I carry my monkey folder, my, my banana peel, of and course. probably a large workhorse right now, or a Genesis, okay? Then the chopper and that small fixed blade. Get to the chopper. Yeah, the, the small fixed blade uh, 1075 knife. Now 1075, super easy to sharpen, super thin, super sharp, and just quickie, quickie cutting, and I like it that way. So that's kind of what my blades are on. On my bag. Okay. Scott, you're up. Okay. Hold on. I had to look that up. It's, they either make a small hatchet, the hand hatchet. That one's mostly for the carving. wildlife hatchet. Those are the three smaller oh, wildlife. ones. wildlife. Now that you say it. Wildlife. Yeah. Okay. Wildlife is the that's, one. That's a good size. That's a nice size. Yeah. I love, I love the head shapes that they yeah. do. They're, they're just so classic. That's, okay. So anyway, for knives, as you might or might not remember, I'm working out of a little red bag from Blue Ridge Overland Gear that Velcros to the back of the headrest. So officially, there are no knives in there. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> because... I'm grabbing this and running out of the truck. I, the knife is on me. Now today, this, and this varies constantly. <laughs> today is I'm back to the Leatherman Signal, which has a one-handed opening combination blade. I know people hate the serrated blades, but no, it does, no, not does, does work quite well. The other side has the wood saw. Ta-da! And this particular one also has the fire starter and the sharpener and the whistle and the all kind of goodies. But I always have some kind of multi tool on me, and just happens to be that this is um, acting as my folder also because it has a pocket clip. I'm trying that out because lately I've been rolling around on the ground underneath the Land Rover fixing it and having the multi tool in a pouch on my belt seriously drives me bonkers because I keep rolling on it. So I took it off for a little while. Gotcha. Uh, so if I do have that back in a pouch and I have, I'll have some kind of other folding knife in my pocket and then I'll usually have on my little one-off LTWK custom, uh, the Genesis or Bushcrafters probably in the center console of the truck. And there's also, uh, numerous things in the Land Rover. That machete we all made, yep. that's in the Rover and, or... At least two other fixed blades. So we'll have to do a show on truck knives. Um, I have three or four. I'm knife heavy. Yeah. They're just not technically in this bag because they are on me. Now coming up soon, I too want a new regulator yeah. <laughs> for the truck. Absolutely. Might have to get two. Yeah. One for the Rover. One for the Toyota. So. That's right. that's what I can. I, does this count? I got this too. Is this, this is that, a, that does not count. count say, yeah. I know what you're saying. Look at that piece of crap. That's this is a great digging tool and, and or ten stake. It is a tool. It's just not so sharp. not a knife. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, what do you got? Uh, I usually always carry some sort of multi tool on me and my uh, AVL next gen. But in, in my bag, I have a, it's a Bowie knife. I don't remember what the brand of it was, but it, uh, it's called the Pig Sticker. It's a pretty big, long blade with a serrated edge on the back, so it works as double my Bowie camp knife and a saw for little 
saplings and everything else that I would need in there. Gotcha. Dig it. And uh, Woods Monkey. Woods Ryan. Monkey. So, um, I, if we're doing on you, so I, if, if you see me and I'm not at the airport, I, I, <laughs> I've got... Or maybe if he is. No, no, no. If the TSA is listening, no. Um, I've always got... Uh, always listening. Always listening. I've always got my uh, my original bat wing on me. Always. Oh, always. Yeah. Uh, just, it's one of those things. And, and I... Uh, I have gotten it into places maybe I shouldn't, not the airport, but um, mm. because it doesn't really look like a knife. Um, so that's nice. Then, of course, I've got the banana peel folder. I've been carrying the, the Kerf Carver lately um, in the bag. Um, I'm a low maintenance guy, so I've got a, a GNS, uh, Scandi, and AEBL just so I don't have to think about it. Um, there's also a Leatherman in there and not any model like the Leatherman from. 20 some years ago like when it was PS1 just or what is yeah it? i mean PT1 before they or? put started putting models on there yeah um you know it's got a serrated <laughs> blade and a little saw and a file and uh, a little sharpener in there and all kinds of stuff and then just you know uh the swiss army the the i think it's the hiker yeah it's the hiker model so again it has a little saw and another blade in there but um that's it good to go my key I almost always have a machete in my truck or in my bag because I love machetes and they do everything awesome. Um, I usually always have my folders on my person and I have a um, giant tops pry bar looking thing that's got like a glass cutter and a bunch of other multi-tool thingies in it in the truck. And then I always have multi-tools everywhere because multi-tools are life. Multi-tools are one. Life. Life. That's mm. what happens when you end Land Rovers. Wow. <laughs> it's true. He oh. said it before. Oh. He said that's the greatest it, tool in his toolkit. Pulled apart, repaired, and driven away in my Land Rover after fixing it with two Leathermans. I, I was there. Two Leathermans, not just one. Mm -hmm. Two. All right, Nick. We got blade wise. So in my bag, and like Scott, I'm going to kind of caveat this with a reminder about what kind of bag it is. This is my daily driver backpack. It's a Hill People Gear Junction. So uh, the second to smallest pack that they make. Uh, and I have a three year old at home and a new baby. So I don't actually keep uh, anything easily accessible on the mm. bag. Uh, I have <clears throat> the knives that I EDC, so I always have a folder, a fixed blade, and probably some sort of box cutter because I like to have a knife when someone says, hey, can I borrow a knife that's <laughs> not my good knife? Uh, oh, and nice. let's see. In the bag, what I actually have is just my Leatherman Crunch, which is a fantastic multi-tool for a tool bag like that. But other than that, uh, no cutting implements. Mm-hmm. Uh, in my pocket every day, I carry a Woods Monkey banana peel. <laughs> um, and a SOG multi-tool. And then in the bag, let's see, I have a large workhorse. I believe it's in Magna Cut right now. Uh, I switch it out every now and again on the shoulder strap. And one of the original competition choppers is in the pocket on the side. And there is a Swiss Army knife. I think it's like the first aid model or something. Hmm, so it's got the... Okay. Yeah. yeah it's bright yellow. Yeah, I was thinking it was bright yellow. I had to think yeah. about it. So I think it's the rescue. Yeah. The rescue, yeah. there it is. Yeah, I got one. Pip, pip, pip. And then, of course, in the truck, there's just knives every, <laughs> everywhere. Knives everywhere. Right, it's right, littered right, right, right. with knives. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. Got a quiver of knives. The kids don't ride with me. There's too many sharp things. Now, we all agree that <laughs> knives, axes, uh, and saw, for that matter. I do have a folding silky that I, I carry. I was going to throw we that in there later. Gerber yeah. in the rubber. They're, they're great. Yep. But uh, yep. we, we change them out. It just depends on the mood. It's, you know, it's like uh, I do that a lot. You know, I'll go through this chopper phase, and then all of a sudden, I will put a machete, you know, or whatever. I'll just come up with something else that kind of fits that. 
Uh, let's go on to, I know we talked about water pur purification and we talked about boiling. What kind of containers do we carry? So let me get started. I have a MSR, I believe it's MSR stainless container that I carry water in that goes in my the, the water holder thing on the side of the pack. So I do mm -hmm. have that. So worst case scenario, I could, I could boil water in that. So it's single wall stainless. It is a tapered bottom one. It's not the straight up and down one, which is yeah. easier to set in a fire because you don't mm -hmm. have to prop it up as much. So I do carry that. But I, as the cooking part, again, everyone's get home bag could be a little bit different, but I plan on maybe I have to do at least an overnighter. You know, they call them 72 hour bags. I do have a titanium esbit that holds my Snow Peak uh, stove and a bottle of fruit. So I do have that. And it does have a lid, so I could boil water in that as well. But that comes in a nice container. If I had to forage for some things, I could use that as a container. So that is what I'm using for my, um, I guess we could call it containers. Yeah. Well, the grail so, is technically the grail. a water container. I'm sorry, too. yeah. Uh, that is a newer edition, and I actually can't forget about counting that one because I care being or that. And if, if I'm taking the Grail, I wouldn't take the MSR. So it's one of those. Now I'm moving into the Grail, so I probably will retire the MSR because I carry the titanium pot 100% of the time anyway, with just enough butane. Or, you know, one of the. It is butane, right? I don't know. Yeah, the butane canisters inside and the snow peak. Because <laughs> worst case scenario, if I got to get warm quick, boom, you know, shoot that thing up and, and get a rock and roll in there. But, so that's what my containers at the present time. Scott, okay. this is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay. Given all so remember, we're working off my headrest. Oh, yes. <laughs> in this, I have, wait, wait, no container. No container. Right. But. So if you were to carry one. But. I usually have my metal coffee cup with me, my travel mug, which is double walled, but I think if I had to, I could put water in it and stick it over the fire. It's no, you know, well, it's makes a now. real small solution to this whole problem. Uh oh. You, they make a four liter dromedary bag that you can boil water in because it's good up to 400 degrees. Comes with three ranger bands and two tablets for purifying water. And legit, it is a plastic bag that folds down like smaller than an Altoid tin. You better write that down and put it, it in your headrest bag. It would fit in your bag. little headrest bag. Or okay. in your cash right. cap. They also make a small <laughs> folding ceramic knife that would also fit lovely into your... Don't worry, folks. And boys of Wazoo. Well, we're guys are our knife maker. Basically, it's really clever. Yeah. All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to change that up. So at the moment, I have nothing. <laughs> Alrighty. Tyler, your turn. Uh, I just have my grandfather's old uh, army canteen. I don't know what it is or anything, but it saved him a lot of times. So I just yeah. carry that with me. So That was my old rig was a canteen. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine's charred black. I like it. It was mm -hmm. great. Great piece of kit, man. Yeah. No doubt. Uh, my, or not my. Brian. <laughs> Brian. Brian. Jeez. Silverback. I, I just, yeah, I mean, that's one of the things I think we had talked before about um, water, and, and uh, that's one of the places I'm lacking. I've got a couple of the plastic bags, but that's it. Can like Pepsi. Yeah, exactly. No, that's Mike. I'm Mountain Dew. Um, yeah, but I, I, you know, I really like the uh, the grill that you guys got that also has the, the metal cup. Um, that's the, was it the Pathfinder yeah. cup? Did I think we talked about I that. Did. I did. So, I mean, I think that's a great idea because then you've got covered for cooking and boiling, filter. So, um, that's I, on my list. I agree. I, I might have to go. I got to look at your cup. I didn't see it yet. Okay. Yeah. Let me check it out because that could, I might make a change up. See, that's why I love doing this show because I look at my checklist here of things I don't own that I need. <laughs> Yeah, good call. Yeah, the Grail, uh, again, a plug for that company. Elaine and I recently flew to Texas, drove to Alabama, flew home, and we're, we took our Grails with us because, you know, water in airports, I'm in a new place. Because your friend Carly told you that yeah, that was because important. My friend, exactly, because Carly told me that was the 
what she used her grail for. And I went, oh, my God, that's brilliant. Yeah. So, yeah, Elaine and I flew with our grails, and we did exactly that. That's great. So, Mikey. Uh, usually I have the, the guy out bottle, stainless steel bottle that we got a while ago. I, I said one. MSR, but mine might be a guy out. Or yeah. it's the same thing. I think it's guy out because it was with Nalgene, but uh, yeah. guy out made them or whatever the com- convoluted part of that was. But it's same, a, I think you're the same steel, as mine. Uh, yeah. Single wall um, bottle. I have that in the truck. Uh, on my persons, I have the Wazoo water kit. And I usually, uh, if I'm traveling, will take a grail with me. There you go. Good, good choice. I got to get one of them. Why don't you make a note? Let's get us some of the Wazoo bags. I don't have one. I need one. The water bag is yeah. seven bucks. Okay, so how many? Who wants one? Okay. Oh, I know God. a guy that can place an order. <laughs> so we'll get. I'll take. Let's make sure take. we get a couple of them. <laughs> I, I definitely want two. Okay. Why don't okay. we just order ten of everything they have? Yeah. No, <laughs> we're just at least one of everything they have. So we have the episode about building the knife maker kit. It's yeah. all right there. Oh, there you go. We'll, we'll it. do that. All right. This is uh, good to 400 degrees. Oh, yeah. yeah okay, guys, wazoo.com. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're friends <laughs> of ours. Gear. Well, I'm sorry. Wazoogear.com. They're friends of ours. Uh, it's a one tell, liter bag. Tell awesome Dustin folks. and Nick, the guys yeah. over at LTWK, and was Monkey sent you? Yeah, different, you different Nick than this Nick. Right on. Okay, you're up, Nick. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, when we went over water, talked about uh, having the big 1,400 milliliter uh plastic nalgene the the white one sort of the flexible plastic i like that still uh part of my regular edc setup is a single wall clean canteen uh one liter so that would be a container and then uh, i didn't get the grail uh pot from the pathfinder or Oh shoot! Was it the Pathfinder? Yeah, show? yeah, yeah. I didn't get that one. I sourced one on Amazon before they started making those. Uh, but it's another. It's a titanium pot. So, is it for the big rail one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it, it worked out great. Honestly, it was a. It's a good have a fit. Lid too? Yep, it and does, with a yeah. with a colander or a strainer part, you know. Huh. So that was nice. Hmm. Uh, I think that's all I have for containers. Yeah. No, that's good. I, I guess I got to throw in, well, no, because I did cover that in water, but I do have a dirty water bag that I roll up. Yeah, uh, I, I remember can, you I clip about it, that. Yeah, I clip it to my pack. Mm-hmm. If we're crossing something, you can grab something. Sammy? Uh, so I have the grail and the cool pot that goes around it. So I like <laughs> things to match. <laughs> um, a collapsible water bladder and a stainless steel bottle that I got from you because you must have had more than one and gave me one. <laughs> yeah. You do have. Well, that's probably my good one. Yeah, it was. <laughs> hey, you said take I this know, one. I tend to do so that. I did. Like, here, I'll just get another one. Yeah, and yeah. you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, all right, that's uh, that covers our containers. We all are firearms guys, so we're probably going to have a firearm set up. So just to keep it simple, I'll just start right now, right at this time. Two spare mags for my AR and a hundred rounds of two two three. And fifty rounds of nine, and it depends because that could change to forty. That uh, you know, it's one of those things. But right now the way it, everything's set up, fifty rounds of nine, hundred rounds of two two three. Now at any time I can change that and up one, lower the other, or take some of both out. I'm still in the uh, I can carry this pack so it doesn't bother me, and I carry it a lot. So with all Sammy, that in it. He, knows he, he s- does. When we can go for a hike at the farm, he puts his pack on. I, I carry it, and I carry it at home. I, when I walk. Wouldn't you rather carry I, this? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? It, it, it Actually, it's good for me to carry it, because it does it's remind me, nice. and then I'll break it down, and I'll look. I'm like, do I? Yeah, I like it. I like it. And it's like, okay, right now I'm okay with it. Okay. Anyway, Scott, what do you got? Uh, Glock 43, three mags, or a Glock 19 with three mags. Basically, if I'm going to go camping, you're like, I might need a long gun. I have the 1022 breakdown, which is all in a bag with a couple hundred rounds of ammo. It's only 22. I'll throw that whole bag in the truck and mm-hmm. be done. Yeah, good to go. I can. I know it's not real powerful, but I can also put, you know, five shots, bang, 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 right there. It's accurate as I'll get at. So are the Glocks. Well, so. if you're ever curious, Scott is a 
dang good shot anyway. Just He's a champion he zombie a champion. attack I, well, champion. I don't want to brag. But <laughs> I remember <laughs> the time. Was it your AR he picked? The, or my AR? We were at the range. And I was, I don't know, one of us was having trouble with something. He said, oh, let me see it. And he picked it up. And all you hear was ding, 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 ding. He's like, nah, shoot's pretty good. I'm like, gosh, dang it. I did technically win the zombie shoot you with did. my AR-15. That was the zombie tactical something or other lower that I built. Yeah. Uh, Mike, maybe Mikey built that one out of but that's the one I won with. Yeah, that was pretty good. And a Glock, of so, course. So I believe, yeah, having carrying a 22, I'm sure you can shoot it. <laughs> it doesn't, you know, if you can put one round in there, you, you can put five. I got lots of ammo. There you go. Tyler? Oh, I only have the one firearm I carry with me. That's my uh, Heritage Rough Rider revolver. Mm. It's a uh, 22. I usually mm. keep two 300 rounds in the bag at Which all times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're real real small boxes. That's like what? The weight of a dollar and change. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's a good little setup. Brian? Um I usually travel with a, a so it's a older Taurus three fifty seven, it's the six oh six. Uh it's basically a K frame Smith and Wesson size. Um I like it because number one I don't I don't have to rely on having mags for it. Um, yeah, it's a little slower to reload, but, um, you know, it's all one unit. Plus, um, you know, if, if it's a situation where things are dicey, you know, I've got twice as many ammo choices. I can do 38, 357. I think you can even do 38 Smith & Wesson. If somebody has those, there's another round that you can put in there. So, to me, like, I mean, every sporting goods store, every whatever is going to have... Something for you. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I carry that in spare ammo. Um, I like it, the stainless. So again, you know, it's a low maintenance. I don't have to worry about it. That's nice. fantastic choice. Good call. Mikey? I'm really bad at maintenance, so I carry Glocks. Um, I have a 43 on my persons at most times or in the truck. Uh, and then when traveling or camping, I have my 17 in my Hill People Gear chest bag. And I have 100 rounds for each in magazines with the guns. There you go. Nick? Uh, I do. I too do the uh, the Glock thing. Uh, so I have typically Glock 19 is my daily driver. I'll do at <laughs> least one spare mag and 50 rounds of ammo, but that all rotates in and out. So it's a pretty changeable system for me. But that's that's probably the most basic uh, setup I have. Also, I do a maintenance kit. So yeah, uh, I have that later on down here. Yeah. Do I? I wish I could think of the name. It's probably an Otis kit. Yeah. yeah. The little one. The Otis kit. Otis. In my bag, I carry 100 rounds of 223 and 50 rounds of 45. And uh, the big bullet. Uh, I do. That's, that's uh, all that's in there. And again, probably subject to change depending on what season and what move around. Right? Yeah. So I do. Do you guys carry something for a quick clean? Ballastol. If anything, I travel with you. It makes it easier. <laughs> <laughs> I carry the Otis. Uh, I, I well, I don't have name. that. I have you that know in, talking in my about other about kits, but yeah. Size of a baseball. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a very, very Otis small. Kit. Yep. Actually, I drop it right in the bottom, yep. shove it in the corner. Their, uh, their cleaning solvent slash lubricant is really nice, too. Mm. Matter of fact, I think I've even taken uh, boar snake now that I think about it. I have to look when I get home. I think It'll I wrapped it up in the inside, yeah. Yeah. So I have a boar snake in there for just a quick, just a, mm-hmm. uh, again, not heavy maintenance. I just got to clean what I got. So I, I do want to, wait, let me add, I, yeah. do, I do want to change. I love the 1022 breakdown, but I want their breakdown carbine that that takes the 9 millimeter Glock mags. Mm. So I can have one, I just need one ammo, all the mags interchange, that well, between the, the really uh, 19 cool. and the carbine. That's a cool platform. It's on my list. I haven't <laughs> pulled the trigger yet. Yeah. And so I can carry the boar snake and a can of ballastol. That'll, that'll get rid of the big chunks. Yeah. No, I, like the, the I, like, I yeah. like the way you're thinking there. No problem. I like the way you're thinking. Did we get around the table? Yep. Yep. Okay, so now let me just go on a couple other things I do have in my bag. I carry a small carry a small and I carry uh, leather gloves. Now leather gloves are on my other strap, my right side strap. Leather gloves, because if you're gonna mess with fire, I like to have leather gloves around. And or they're just tough gloves. Mm-hmm. You know, just straight up they're you know, you I don't Good have work to, gloves. 
less chance of cutting myself on the briars or whatever. You got to get something, spread something out of the way. Who knows? Yep. So yep. I do throw the leather box gloves. Uh, let's look at food. Okay. So quickly, again, we're looking at a short term bag. I carry some powdered broth. Uh, and again, I should have the stuff here to tell you the brand name Kroger's has it. It's, it's great stuff. It tastes delicious. I carry the Lara bars. I carry a Lara bar, some powdered broth, a tuna pack, because that's quick. You know, got to get a quick protein. Some paleo beef sticks and coffee bags, because I got to have some comfort. Maybe I want a little hot coffee. And, and that kind of down and dirty on my food. Just that quick. And I figure I ha have set it up to where I have like two or three bras, two Lara bars, two packs of tuna, two beef sticks, and four coffee bags or something. So it's an extreme. Matter of fact, it's inside of a canteen cover. Hmm. You know, the covers that you used to get. I have Spoon. everything shoved in that. Spoon? So, Spoon? Spo uh, spork, yes. Spork. Mm -hmm. I have a spork in there. Scott, what do you got for food? Sure. That's exactly what I have for food. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. In my headrest bag. Other than chewing on a band aid, <laughs> I, I have next time some, we should... some sort of wow. quick breakfast mm, bar. This cinnamon toast one crunch. Is cinnamon toast crunch. Can I look at the expiration date? No, no, no. <laughs> well, to be <laughs> fair, it probably has so many preservatives in it, it doesn't matter. Well, you could eat breakfast once. Yes. It's good to go. And I'm drinking water out of the creek with my hand. All so right. I'll have to boil some water after my Wazoo order shows up to There you go. Tyler, what are you carrying for food? About four MREs. Yeah. MREs are easy. They work. And they have everything you need in them. And you can always trade the chewing gum for something. Or the Tabasco yeah, the sauce. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> Tabasco and, and go. Brian? Um, yeah, no food, like, really. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be hungry for 72 I, hours. I am, I, yeah, exactly. I mean, um, quite frankly, I mean, I'd be okay for a day or two. I, I mean, not to be... <laughs> not going to starve to death. Not to be... I got it. I'll yeah, be all the time. I mean, longer than that, okay. I mean, you know, I've got a little fishing kit that, you know, I probably would not catch anything with but um <laughs> you have exactly or it's you know negative. Uh, any critter that comes nearby that uh you know stops for momentarily but uh yeah i mean for two or three days i'm not going to be happy but i'll be fine gotcha. mikey uh oddly enough i have very much have brian's mentality on it as well i have two <laughs> mountain house meals that are just there as a like hey i should eat something but then i also have a fishing kit and snare worm Snail water? Snare wire? Yeah. Mm, snail water. Snail water. Snail water. one at the other end of the table. <laughs> it's, it's like coconut water only. You put it in the juicer. Ooh, that's good. Nick? Uh, so my lunch uh, box goes into my backpack in the morning. <laughs> so uh, that's always in there. Basic uh, breakfast, lunch thing. Uh, and then I have a few spare lava bars. That's it. Good deal. Sammy. Uh, right now, I just have a two-two-three. <laughs> He's like, I, I ate it uh, at lunchtime today, so I got nothing. You, your uh, protein bars and paleo sticks and all that stuff is looking really tasty right now. Can you see this end of my AR? <laughs> right on. Now, moving on from food, medical. I do have a medical kit with various items and a tourniquet. Band-Aids, you, know, you know, a little Neosporin, just generally, actually Nick probably helped me set it up a couple years ago, and it's pretty much what I'm running on. Just the basics. I am not, I don't know enough about medical stuff, which is on my bucket list to get a little better knowledge in that area. We had a class. So I, I know, but I, forgot I, I need to up my game. Class. I need to up my game, and I keep my medical kit in a red um Blue Ridge bag, what's it called? The you know the the first day zipper day pouch. Yeah. The zipper pouch. No, he oh. doesn't have. It's just in the zipper yeah, pouch. Oh, oh the one one no. The yeah, like they're going yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. It fits perfect in my. That's what day. that is. Is the IFAC. Yeah. IFAC. Yeah. yeah. He yeah, just has it in the zipper pouch. Good yeah. yeah. Okay. Here we go. Right. Yep. So that's that's what I got for medical, Scott. That I have covered. Let me let me look here. He's got one band aid. Got it. 
Yeah, in the no, a protein bar you can use in a gunshot wound. Dark tape counts. <laughs> just saying. I do have band aids. Yeah. Well, well, actually, I might have used I was the last one. That sounds <laughs> empty. <laughs> That's Sounds empty. empty. All right. uh, uh, here oh my God! Wait, is there a container? Oh, <laughs> he has one bandaid, so he can. No, I have. Uh, no, uh, hold on. I have this from County Com. Oh, County Com is—they uh, yeah, yeah. got some good stuff. All right, this is the grab do. and go first aid kit. I like nice. the scissors. Two by three fabric bandages. Three each fabric band. Uh, fabric. Fingertip bandages. <laughs> Good deal. Knuckle bandages. Please, please read everything bandages. that's in there. I will. <laughs> Four inch alcohol <laughs> prep pad. Uh, iodine prep pad. Antibiotic cream. Gauze pads. The scissors. I love County Gauze. And it's on its little Ziploc bag. They do have some good stuff. No, that's they're expensive, fun. but they're yeah. cool. And I can take it out and throw here, LT. Do Thanks, some first buddy. aid. I don't have that, so give it to yeah. me. Also, the band aid. He's stuff. got one. Right. Just the one. One, one, one band yeah, one. <laughs> the the can the container to hold the one band aid is way bigger than the band aid. It holds That's why he took eight. it out. I used them, <laughs> <laughs> and then didn't put them back. There you go. That's all. All right, Tyler. Uh, I have very little Ooh. medical things as oh, well. I, I have a uh, tourniquet Michael's in there, um, some sort of horse wrap or a compression bandage. I'm finding more and stuff. Uh, I always keep at least two or three tampons in there too, for like punctures or whatever. You can stick them in there and it'll clot them up and seal it. I mean they're not long term because the chemicals in there are bad for you, but <laughs> they they will get you till you get to a hospital. Good. There you Good go, tip. Brian. I just have like a very basic pre-made first aid kit. I swapped out the little pack it was in, and it's now in a, a tough possum their medic bag. Um, which is a great little bag. Um, it's easy to spot because the front has glow, glow in the dark reflective. and solace. Um, so it's a nice little bag, but it's very, very basic kit. Um, I, I mean, I know like the the uh, the fashion now or the like the trend is to have tourniquets. I mean, I unless I because I've never had like a tourniquet training and how to use it. I know like if you don't know what you're doing, they can be dangerous. So, I mean, nah. is it less dangerous mm-hmm. than bleeding to death? I mean, you know, I guess that's debatable, but um, I, I just don't feel comfortable, like, without having some kind of training. Um, you know, I know, like, I've seen quick clod and all that stuff, too, which, again, I know there's some controversy about. So, without having, like, the training and knowledge, I just don't feel comfortable with that so stuff. So, when LT signs up for his class, he should get a spot for I was thinking well. we should go together. Yeah. It's, you can buy my lunch or well, something. Well, I know, like, like, I think it's the Red Cross does, like, a Stop the Bleed class. Um, and some other things. So, yeah, I mean, before I get into a situ- situation where I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. No, no, good call. We know enough people in the wilderness medical thing yeah. that we can get set up. So we got to look into that. I know, I, I'm going to sit right here and say I need to up my game. Mikey. Uh, generally on my persons, I have uh, Advil and Benadryl because I have allergies in a bad back. Mm-hmm. And um, in the truck, I have a really extensive first aid kit in a Pelican case. And then I also have a Woods Monkey medical board set up inside my Hill People Gear chest rig that's got a pretty good uh, kit on it. And then I have a tourniquet on the bottom. Gotcha. Yeah. So like LT mentioned a minute ago, uh, I do have a tendency to like to build kits and everything. So I have a custom built IFAC and a Maxpedition beefy pocket and organizer. Uh, it's, you know, it's one step above a boo-boo kit, but at the same time, you could really stretch it for a lot of different things. There's some different medications and bandages and gauzes and stuff in there. Um, but then I, uh, I absolutely agree with what you guys are saying about the tourniquet stuff and just general first aid responsibility like that. So, uh, as part of my EDC setup in my back left pocket, I always have a cat nine and a couple other things in a little red pouch for first aid because if you know how to punch holes in things you should know how to patch them <laughs> and uh yeah and then a few little band-aids and some duct tape in my uh my little pocket organizer gotcha sammy i couldn't tell you what's in my first aid kit because i had nick do the initial build and then i gave it to my brother who's a paramedic to finish it out but i do have enough training that i could use what's in it and just don't remember what's in it there you have it Stuff, a lot of stuff. So if we all bring the gear and you and Nick, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're fine. So, uh, again, I know we talked about a lot of different stuff, and you can see that 
each one of us maybe carry a few different things. Like I carry reading glasses just in case because I need, you know, the mm, eye full Never know. Uh, I throw up sunglasses, ride with my frog dogs kind of thing. Ham radio. Uh, some of us have our ham license, so we have a ham radio with us. Uh, I do carry that. Uh, I'm not real good on paper maps. I need to up my paper map mm-hmm. game. I know you guys. I have you, some. You have a bunch. Yeah. My Craig game. Caudill has an excellent book on land navigation. You should check yeah, it out. Yeah, my gosh, yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic book. So there, there's um, some of the things that I do have in addition, and that pretty much covers my pack. And again, this, guys, this is one of those things I think, and, and anyone will will say this most likely. It's an ongoing thing. You're going to change your mind on this, and you're going to add this to your pack, and you're going to take that away. So don't be afraid to do those things. As you can see, we're continually building and modifying our stuff as we go. Does anyone want to add something that we did not cover, Mikey? Uh, I, I think it's important to remember that uh, as we get further along on the technology arc, a lot of people end up relying on their phones for mm. all the information which it provides, which is great, but if what the experts are saying is going to happen actually happens and there is a black sky event where the power grids go down then that phone is not going to work well and a lot of things won't if you don't have the knowledge or the paper backup to support what you need to do you need to question what you're doing good call somebody else Nick? yeah uh so i absolutely agree with mike on that one uh, and one thing that, uh, two things actually, I guess we didn't really cover that I, I really find important and useful in my pack is I have a Tex and comms bag. So it's a, it's an actual Faraday bag. Uh, they're not hard to find and they're not expensive, but it's a copper line. So anything I throw in there that's electronic gets that extra layer of protection or I get that extra layer of privacy if I want it. Uh, in there goes spare wires and those USB packs and batteries that I talked about earlier. I really do want to add my uh, uh, Baofeng into my EDC setup, but it just hasn't come together just yet. Um, and then tools. I have a dedicated tools and equipment bag that's got wrenches and drivers and sockets and tape and that Leatherman crunch and just a whole bootload of other odds and ends that are I by far use that bag the most out of anything in my pack. Mm. So little tools and things like that. Uh, plus, uh, I I have lock picks with me. That's a hobby of mine that I picked up during COVID, and uh, it's fantastic. Do it responsibly. Do it legally. Uh, make sure you know your local laws and everything if you if you choose to to participate with that sport. But it is super fun and super useful. So mm-hmm. yeah. that stuff's on there. So I, I think there's a lot of room for a lot of different things in your bag. And again, it's a personalized thing. You know, you, you got to, what makes you comfortable, you know, what some things that don't make you comfortable, you don't, like Brian said, he doesn't feel comfortable with a tourniquet. So right now for him to carry it doesn't really make us a, a lot of sense because he would pull it out of the bag and go, I got this. But, but <laughs> it's a cool know. factor because you have your tourniquet on your bag. Exactly. Well, but, you know, you may be with someone that does know how to use it as well. Though There's, all, there's always that. But if you just put it on the neck, it fixes most problems. <laughs> oh, so. yeah, but there, makes, yeah, I'm going to, I always look at my bag probably about once every 30 days or something. I really do. I just look at it and go, huh, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. And there's there's times, I took some uh, fat wood out the other day. And I was like, that's all I did. I spent an hour playing with it. And pulled out a couple pieces of fat wood. To, there, it's much lighter now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, so the bag is mine is the Num Lindy. I think we went over the bags, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. First started, Blue-ish. and I'm a big fan of the Hill People Gear on Lindy bag. Mm-hmm. I truly am. Good I stuff. have. Uh, matter of fact, I just mentioned we had flown to Texas. That was my. I have another Um Lindy that I carry. That's my carry on, and I have all my clothes. I don't like the check bags if I don't have to. Depends on what I'm doing. So just the unlindy for the win, man, all the way around. Anybody have any final thoughts on this particular series? Duct tape. Duct tape, yes. Well, it's, always duct tape. Yeah, always and duct tape. if you really, if you're willing to spend the money, get the gorilla tape because it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. Now we need to do a series. We need to do another pocket dump. We talked about building the sure. wazoo hat for. Uh, I'll have glow sticks for, for that one. Yeah, we got it. We got it. So we got to get our short list together and get those 
up and running for you guys. So this is going to be a three-part. This is the end Woo-hoo. of the go bag, bug out bag, 72-hour bag, AB bag, whatever you want to call it. We hope that you enjoyed it. We certainly did. I had a good time re-looking at my stuff. I like doing that from time to time, just looking at my kit. So that was a lot of fun. Uh, even though you do build them, use them. I do take mine. Rotate I do use stuff it. in and out, too. Yes, rotate stuff. We go on a hike. What do we do? We sit down and eat the food that we got in our bag. You know, rotate my water out, whatever. Yeah, definitely uh, look at your stuff. Make sure you can still use all your stuff. Check your lighters. At the bare minimum, you know how they say you should change your smoke detector batteries? Yeah. You know, every yeah. you know seasonal change or whatever from start of summer and the start of winter. Do that with your bag. Get it out. Go Absolutely. through it. Change your batteries. Yeah, look at your stuff. Make sure you didn't take your band-aids out. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. Just have a container for it. It's like, huh, Make sure there's band-aids in there. Now, giant giant now but he does have a container now. He does. He does. does. <laughs> one of the best things I, water in it. Stay positive. I ever did was we went to PWYP that one year, right. and I sort of went with the bug out bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used that heat shield as the pup tent. I yeah. had, you know, like minimal stuff. Yeah, it, t- it talked to you a lot. It's like, this really is rough. I don't really want to do just, this. And plus, it was. Then you also went one year with a Jeep full of stuff, and you were the only person in it. Yeah. And and then another year, now I went on a motorcycle with two side yeah, you did. containers. Yeah, no, you did. Poor guy. You no, that was so a good one. For him there. It now, wasn't the no, motorcycle. It was, we've done farm. The chapped part from the ride. Well, <laughs> no, I think we fun, mentioned it yeah. on the last show. We he, even, he did that trip, and we he did build a shelter. Mm-hmm. Right there at the farm. Oh, at the farm. Yeah, yeah. that. So yeah, you went minimal that, that way, short. and then uh, yeah. that thing your raccoon, you slept under your poncho. Uh, if you yeah, remember, yeah, yeah, yeah remember yeah, you set right. that poncho up and used that as your tarp. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you. Right. So Scott has done a few of those really minimal. That's setups. a great way to test your stuff. Can you endure? I, I, I at least have the mindset of if I yeah. go out there with a knife and some paracord, I'd be good for three days. Yeah. No, like like a, <laughs> some massive survival guy, but yeah. Yeah, it's good to test yourself. You know what? what do you think of that? But getting together like this, talking about our gear, with all as I said, I've made notes here that I, there are some things you guys got that I want, and then I'm sure that you guys are listening. Going, man, I need to get that. I need that my game here oh, or yeah. something. But it also, as I'm saying, what I have. I'm saying, huh, do I need that much of this? Do I need that? Do I need that thing? Because I, I listen to what you guys are saying, and I go, oh, maybe I don't need to carry that thing. But here's the thing, too, about that is we're all approaching this from different mindsets, and I think that was really actually beneficial for this whole episode because, or several episodes, because, like, Tyler's kit is built for something different than mine and different, right. and different than yours, and Scott's kit is specifically built for his truck. And exactly. there's nothing wrong with any of that. It's just you can't, you know, you can't have something the size of a fanny pack that's going to really go for like a 72-hour foot travel journey. You know, it just mm-hmm. yeah, it's good to approach it from the mindset of what if, but at the same time, those those are very different tools. But but all of us carry a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, we're I mean, well, we're all geared. Yeah, we're this driving, season. Whatever bag we described, I know, is not our only bag. This is, oh, absolutely. This is no, like one of ten. You know, Plus, you have, <laughs> you have another ten things on your person. That, so, and 150 in the vehicle that yeah. the bag goes on. I was about to say, I agree. Scott's we, truck we multiple like levels to our go. <laughs> I'm all for the bug out vehicle. Yes. I have to get home. I live 58 miles away from here. I must get back oh, yeah, to the family. Absolutely. And the so Jeep's that's different. kind of the same way. I've got tools. you got to go my, those three miles. My bag is as big as it is. <laughs> yeah, <those three. laughs> my bag is as big as it is because when I set it up, I, my mentality was for me and Lane. You know. Yeah. Now, although I built her own bag, but I've also said this many times to her, just in case we can't get both, we got this. We're covered. We're good to go. See, mm-hmm. home is seven miles for me. Yeah. So that's part of why my kit is so small. But at the same time, you know, if I had to, if I had to make it go for seventy-two or more hours, I feel like I could do it. Right. Because of you know different experiences and different things and adaptability that's not like oh i'm so great at this because you know i'm out of practice and everything plus my mentality has really had to shift with adding kits i mean everything has to be as streamlined as possible and as versatile as possible and as durable as possible (laughs) yeah good stuff 
Well, I enjoyed doing this. Guys, thanks for uh, tuning in with us. We, we uh, had a really good time. We hope you liked it. Remember to check us out wherever you can hear podcasts. If you'd like to support the show, go into that section Mike talked about. Uh, the Shack, the shack. the About tab on our navigation. Yeah, we would really appreciate that. Thank you very much for that, guys. And uh, don't forget to check out ltrightknives.com and woodsmonkey.com. You can support the show by looking at our products, and hopefully there's something there that excites you and, and gets you to pull the trigger on something. But, guys, thank you very much. Looking forward to the next show. And in the meantime, stay safe, and God bless you all. See you. Bye.